Hello there. In this video, we will be learning arguments and validity. So far, we have been investigating truth values of logical statements or compound propositions. The definition here says a logical deduction, which is argument form, it is an assertion that a given set of statements like P1, P2, till Pn. These are hypotheses or premises, which gives us another statement Q called a conclusion. This is argument form. We can consider each premise as true, and we are going to think about the conclusion. We will try to investigate the conclusion, the truth values of the conclusion. If the conclusion part become true, we can say the given argument is uh, valid, otherwise it's going to be invalid. So the definition of validity, it is an argument for P1, P2, until Pn, those are premises, and conclusion Q is said to be valid if the conclusion part, the Q, true. So this time, what matters is the conclusion. We are going to focus on the conclusion. The premises will be taken as true. From the beginning, some premises uh, might be controversial. Okay, uh, we may accept sometimes, which is a false statement, as a premise in case of premise during uh, argument, it might be taken as uh, true. But considering the premise as true, if the conclusion it become true, we can say logically it is valid and acceptable. Let us see by examples. Our example says, decide whether each of the following argument forms is valid or invalid. The first one, uh, we do have two premises, P and Q, and P or Q implies S. These are premises. Each premise will be uh, differentiate by comma. Therefore, we will take the premise as true. So this is the whole true. The second premise also will be considered as true. So we are going to see the truth values of the conclusion. From the first truth value, we can say that they are connected by conjunction, which is end. So in case of conjunction, to be true, the whole outcome, each of them has to be true. So we know that the P must be true and the Q also must be true. So P true means here, you can bring it truth value. So we got it already. True or R, whatever R it is, uh, the whole premise here, it's really true. The premise part of this logical uh, co conditional statement here. P or R implies S, it is uh, if then. So the if part here, or the premise part, of the component uh, premise here, it will be true. So what must be the conclusion to give us the whole truth? The S has to be true, because the whole outcome is already given as a premise. So we know the truth values of S also it is. Therefore, now we can come to the conclusion part. The conclusion is P and S. P is true, and S also true. True and true will give us true. So it is valid. When you go to the next examples, as you see here, there are four questions given. The first one, A, it says P implies Q, first premise, and R implies P, the second premise, and the third premise is R. Three premises we have, and the conclusion is now it's Q. So we need to start from the single one. R is true, given, premise. R implies P also true, premise. And P implies Q is also true, which is premise. But from the first one here, uh, R is already true. If R true, necessarily P must be true because the whole outcome is true. So R already true. So P must also be true. And when you get back to the first premise, P already true from the previous one. Therefore, necessarily Q must be true. So step by step, we start from the last premise from R because it's single. The truth value of R true means when you insert here it is true, the conclusion must be here true P because it is implication. In case of implication, if the premise is already true, 
the conclusion must be true. Therefore, it is valid because Q will become true. When you go to B, we do have two premises here. The first one is negation P and negation Q. That is true as a premise. And the second premise is Q or R implies P. This is also true. But from the first premise, this, since the connector is conjunction, uh, to be true, each of, must, each of them has to be true. Negation P is true. And negation Q also must be true. That means P is false and Q is false. P false and Q also has to be false. We know this. When you go to the next one, we have got already uh, the P false. If the conclusion part of conditional statement false means to be true the whole, the premise has to be true also this one, the whole thing. So we already got the Q is also false, so R must be also false from that. We can conclude R is also false. Therefore, R false means the conclusion part here, we are trying to get the truth values of R. R false. What does this imply? It is invalid. The next example, we have three premises. P implies negation Q and P by itself and R implies Q. Each of them are obviously true as a premise. If P true, already we said P true, if P true necessarily negation Q must be true. Negation Q uh, is true means Q is false. So again, when you give back and see here, if uh, Q false, R must be false to be true because as a premise the whole thing true, so R will be false because false implies false will give us already the Q false means if R true, it is going to be false, but as a premise it's already true. Therefore, R false means what will be the negation of R? That's what we are uh, trying to get it, which will be true, so it is valid. The next example again, we do have two premises here. The first premise is negation P and negation Q, and the second premise here it is each of them are true. That means since conjunction it is each of them are true, that means P is false necessarily, and Q also it is false. Q false means Uh, negation Q it is true I mean negation Q it is true and P is also it is false so the whole okay the conclusion part of this uh, logical statement I mean conditional statement the whole thing is true that the conclusion is false so the premise must be false to make it false the negation Q already it is true so R must be false true implies false will give us false so R we got it already false. So false means negation R will be, the negation of R will be true. So it is uh, valid. That's what we are looking for. Let us try to see some exam questions. The first question here, it says, P implies Q premise and Q also premise. That means each of them are true. Q true, also here Q true. What can you say about P? can be true or false because true implies true it will be true and false implies true also true in case of implication so as a premise even if it's true we cannot say about the truth values we cannot say always it is p is always true so that we cannot say this is valid when you go to choice b p implies q is true and p by implies q it has to be uh, it is true because again it is premise as you see here, in case of by implication, to be true, each of the component proposition has to be same truth value. They need to have same truth value, either true true or false false. So true true or false false also gives us true the, the next premise. P implies Q. It works. 
but as a premise p, impl p by imply q it is true given so they have to be either true true or false false there is no another option so the conclusion q it can be true or false we cannot conclude we cannot conclude it's always true or false so we can say it is valid but when you go to choice c uh, negation p and q premise true and q implies are also as a premise true so that means each of them are true here because the connector is uh, disjunct i mean conjunction and then from this one we have got the truth values of q which is true if q true to be the whole premise true are necessarily must be true necessarily therefore the that's what we are looking the conclusion is r r become true so it is valid so the answer will be c statement wise uh, it might be asked in this way what does he say consider the following argument if he doesn't love her she will not marry him he loves her therefore she will marry him the conclusion is therefore therefore so you can uh, take as p he loves her and q uh, she will marry him so we do have two propositions they are connected so as a premise the first one if he doesn't love her means negation p implies uh, she will not marry him means negation q this is one of the premise the second premise is he loves her so that it's going to be p you can take them true it's the whole thing true and it's also true therefore the conclusion is she will marry him means that is q we are looking for q don't forget that so p is true that means the negation of p is false but the whole thing true if the negation of p is false what will be the negation of q so the two premise we can write as negation p implies negation q this is true premises will be taken as true and the p also true p true means here the premise the premise of the logical statement the conditional statement is false so false implies what will give you true either false implies false or false implies true so we cannot deduce about the truth values of q so we cannot say it's valid it's going to be invalid so the answer must be b the premises are negation p implies negation q and comma p and the conclusion is q so which is invalid that is correct the next statement also suppose the following statements are the premise of an argument he was lazy or he did not like the classroom if he was lazy he could not pass the exam the conclusion he he is passed he passed the exam this is the conclusion part the last one so we can uh, allot the statement by different letters therefore we can decompose and see part by part each statement first statement we can take as p he is lazy on a statement and the second one q he likes the classroom and the third one he passed the exam therefore when you try to see uh, the given premises the first one it says he was lazy or he did not like the classroom that means p or negation of q this is the first premise and the second premise if he was lazy he could not pass the exam that means p implies negation r because the r is he passed the exam in the last premise he passed the exam that is r we do have three premises from this premise which one come will conclude uh, the given assertion as valid so consider the premise are true so each premise true we'll take them as true then r true means negation r here false necessarily p must be false to be the whole premise true so p is false if p false as you see here uh, negation of q necessarily has to be true to be the whole true because premise therefore the conclusion must be negation q to be valid so 
which of the following can be conclusion that make the argument valid uh, it has to be b b says he did not like the classroom that's negation of q because the q is he likes the classroom we said already this q so the negation of q if it is uh, conclusion the given logical argument is going to be valid the other example here it says uh, is the following argu argument valid smoking is healthy it says uh, this will be taken as p which is take it as a premise and true if smoking is healthy then cigarettes are prescribed by the physician that means p implies a q a q is cigarettes are prescribed by physicians so the conclusion is q so we have p p implies q as a premise and the conclusion is q let us check whether this logical argument is true or false so first of all let us consider the premise are true the whole premise we have two premises so from the premise we know that p is true so q necessarily has to be true finally we have got the q true means it is valid this is what we call it more exponents rules of inference will be our next discussion but when you see the first premise smoking is healthy it contradicts normally this statement is false but if we accept this as true the conclusion is going to be true the last example it says if I study then I will not fail mathematics if I do not play computer games then I will study but I failed mathematics then therefore the conclusion I must have played computer games so when we decompose and allot each statement with letters p q r we have three statements the first one p i study q i fail math exam and r i play computer games then the first premise if i study then i will not fail mathematics that means p implies negation of q this is the first premise will be considered as true second one if i do not play that means negation of r then i will study implies p this is also will be taken as true and the last premise but i failed mathematics which is q this is also true now from the given premises let us try to check the validity of the conclusion i mean the truth value of the, con the conclusion q true means this must be false the conclusion part here negation of q will be false if negation q false necessarily p must be false to be the whole premise true so p is false so let's bring the false here now p false means negation of r has to be again it false to give us the whole premise true so negation of r false means necessarily the r must be true so this statement is valid so it will be somehow uh, confusing but logical statements or validity will be dependent on the premises sometimes any prim like the arguments can be taken as true as premise and the conclusion matters what is concluded uh, these are some exercise any question can be asked on the comment place thank you for watching